So the three things I love about a kitchen clam bake are, first, it's one big pot, an entire meal. Second thing I like about a kitchen clam bake is you don't have to schlep everything to the beach for a clam bake and then schlep it back when it's dark. I hate that. And the third thing is there's no sand in your food. <laughs> so let's make a kitchen clam bake. So the first thing I do for the kitchen clam bake is heat up some olive oil, add onions and leeks. It's just three cups of chopped onions and two cups of chopped leeks and just saute them for about 15 minutes, just until they're really caramelized. I've made this clam bake so many times, and all I remember is the times I screwed it up. <laughs> Once I remember I made it for Patricia Wells, my friend who writes cookbooks in Paris, and I completely forgot to put the wine in. <laughs> and, and it was like, why isn't it steaming? And I used to do it with lobsters. And once I took the lobsters out while I was serving the clam bake just to keep them warm in the oven. And then the next day, Jeffrey said to me, that was delicious, but I don't remember having a lobster. And I was like, oh my God, the lobsters are still in the oven. <laughs> that was the next morning. But you know what? There was so much going on in the clam bake. It was so much fun to eat that I actually didn't make it with lobsters again. Okay, now I'm gonna layer all kinds of good things. Yukon Gold potatoes, right in the bottom. I wanna make sure they're all spread out in one layer so they cook evenly. I've got one and a half pounds in here. And then kielbasa. I just love the kielbasa. I love the spices in the kielbasa and the flavor of it. It really seasons the broth. And it's so good to eat with the clams. And the amount on the kielbasa is one and a half pounds. A tablespoon of salt is a big pot. Half a tablespoon of pepper. So this is gonna make cooked seafood, but it's also gonna make the most delicious broth. And I serve both of them. So that's the base. The potatoes and the kielbasa are gonna cook together. And then I'm layering on top two different kinds of clams. These are little neck clams, two dozen of them. I mean, this is about as easy as it gets, isn't it? Okay, the next clams are steamers. One pound of them. Just make sure they're all really well cleaned. They're scrubbed and have no sand in them. This isn't a clam bake that you want sand in. And next I'm gonna put in mussels that have been debearded and scrubbed. Just layer it on top. I'm adding two pounds of them. Next, it's two pounds of shrimp. And I do them in the shell. I think they cook really well in the shell and then everybody can peel their own. Kind of makes it fun. And the last thing is an entire bottle of white wine. And pick something you want to drink with it. So I'm doing a white Chateau Neuf du Pop. It doesn't have to be really expensive. It just has to be pretty good wine. And pour that on top. I mean, how bad can that be? <laughs> Just gonna turn the heat up, put the lid on, and let it cook. <laughs> I think the clam bake smells ready. You like that I have my own cup for the broth? Okay, let's see how it's doing. Oh, uh, this looks amazing. Wow. It's all cooked together. The broth looks amazing. It smells fantastic. So I'm gonna put it all in a big bowl and just let everybody help themselves. Look how fabulous this is. It's got kielbasa and clams and mussels and shrimp. You know, I've made this so many times and usually I make it for kind of fancy things when people expect it to be really fancy. And I remember one time Jeffrey had investment banker friends coming. I knew they were gonna show up in like jackets and ties for dinner. So I made a big clam bake. Everybody had to take off their jackets and I gave them all chef's aprons to put on. And they rolled up their sleeves and they had the most fun. I think that first they were a little horrified that they had to eat with their hands, but then they really got into it and it was so much fun. So I just put this right in the middle of the, whoa, man overboard. <laughs> I put this right in the middle of the table. Everybody helps themselves. And then I give everybody a cup of broth. When I was a caterer, I used to do this but actually on the beach. <laughs> Trust me, this is easier. Mmm, this smells so good. Mmm. I taste all the seafood and the leeks and the kielbasa and the wine. This is really good. And there's no sand anywhere. Cheers. This recipe and more can be found in the Barefoot Contessa cookbook or at barefootcontessa.com.